Welcome everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire. Today I wanted to give you a closer look at the new Studio Calico Color Theory line. Now this line came out a couple weeks ago, but I really wanted to take some time to get to know it before I did a review. Now this line has inks in it, which I'm going to focus on today, but it also has some other embellishments and papers and such, which I'll talk about later in this video. Now I'll apologize ahead of time if this seems a little disjointed. I really wanted to videotape me experimenting with this so you could see firsthand what it's like. So I wanted this to be really organic, so I apologize if it's a little jumpy. At the end of this video, I'll also show a card that I created using these inks and some of the embellishments. Now, I know most people are going to ask about the inks. You'll notice in this video that I have a new system for my ink color swatches. I had been using an ink swatch ring for a while, but it really wasn't working for me because I wanted to see many colors at once. Now, I will have a video coming out within the next week or so that's a really good look at how I create the system, but you'll be seeing a little bit of it in today's video. I created little two inch squares with labels where I could stamp a sample of each color on and I'll actually have a free download on my blog so that you can print out the Studio Calico uh, Color Theory ink swatches, these little two inch by two inch squares. But I have these in coin protectors and I really like the system, but again, I will focus on this in a future video. I really wanted to just talk about the colors from the Studio Calico line and what I find that I like about them. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen me do ink comparison videos. I have several lines of inks that I really like. Now people think I like a lot of inks, however you'll notice that there's a lot of inks I don't talk about because those are the ones that I don't find I get best results with. But I have to say I really do like these inks and I'll show you why in this video. And then again, as I mentioned, at the end of this video I'll show this card that uses some of these products. And I'll also give some tips for creating really straight stamping. But let's go ahead and get started with the discussion about the inks. The Color Theory inks come in 12 different colors. And one of the things I really like about these inks is that the color of the ink really is pretty close to the color that you see on the label on the top of the ink pad. Now there is a really good mix of colors and there are a few in here that I absolutely love which I'll point out later. Now one of the greatest things about these ink pads is they stack really well. This is fantastic because it's easy to store. You could even lay them on their side and they kind of stay together. The ink lids don't really fall off. I really like that these stack. I wish that more ink stacked this nicely so it's really easy to store. And you can see I put little labels on the side with my label maker so I could easily grab whatever color I needed. And by the way, one of my favorite things about this ink is that it has a much lower price point than others. The ink pad is a little bit smaller than others, but I don't find that to be a problem, which you'll see in a moment. The Color Theory inks are dye inks. That means they absorb very quickly into the paper and dry fast and give good results. Now, if you're curious about the difference between dye and pigment inks, I'll put a little link here for a video that talks more about that. But these have the basic properties of other dye inks. You can easily watercolor with them, they won't fade, lots of great qualities about it. Now you'll notice here that it is smaller than most ink pads. That's the Hero Art Shadow Ink on the right, you know that's one of my favorite inks. You can see it's smaller, at first I was bummed by this, but then I really thought about it and started using it and I realized it doesn't really matter because it's not that much smaller that it makes a big difference, but it does keep the price down, which I do like. The ink pads are very similar and they behave the same in a lot of ways. Now the Hero Art Shadow Inks, they kind of soften and give smoother results as they dry. You get that a little bit with the uh, Studio Calico inks, not as much. Those stay super, super vibrant, so it just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I really am a big fan of dye inks and of pigment inks, but it really depends on what you prefer. Now, many people do not like that dye inks stain many clear stamps. Well, most dye inks do. However, these happen to not. So if you get really bothered by stained stamps, it doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers a lot of people. This is a good ink for you. You can see I've inked it up with a dark ink here, and you can see it wipes off nicely with a baby wipe with no problem. So that is one of the great advantages of this ink. Now a stain stamp doesn't mean a dirty stamp, so it shouldn't bother you anyways, but I know it does bug some people. Now from this stamped image, you can see it's very solid. There is a little bit of unevenness and splotchiness that will very, very slightly even out as it dries, just a little bit. So that is something to keep in mind, but it does give a solid image. And by the way, I like that the caps don't fall off these ink pads and also that they're made in the US. Just another thing I wanted to mention. Now another unique property of these inks is that it works well with Copic markers. I'm not, I haven't had much success with other inks that work with Copic markers, so I was really excited to see these did. The key is that you really want your ink to dry completely or you want to heat set it. 
Once it's nice and dry, it doesn't bleed when you put Copics up against it or color over it. So if you like to use Copics, this is a good option. When I was playing around with these inks, I discovered something that makes me love them a lot, and that is generation stamping. I don't do much second and third generation stamping because I've never been able to find an ink that gives good results with that technique, but this one really does. So let me show you what this is. You just ink up the stamp and you stamp it once and you get the nice solid results. Stamp it again, you get a medium and stamp it a third time and you get a light. And look, at you can get this like ombre look and each of the images is very clear. That's unique. I haven't been able to find many inks that when you stamp the second and third time, they are still give a nice clear crisp image. But this ink for some reason seems to. So I got, I figured this out playing with it and I really, really like this feature. So those are the biggest properties of these inks that I found playing with them. Hopefully it'll help you decide if this is an ink that you might like. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a closer look at some of the colors. I did want to mention that if you're interested in getting all the colors, I do have a discount code for free shipping over on my blog, which I'll link to. But I'm also going to point out what my favorite colors are in case you just want to try a few of them. I will say I was pretty impressed with the fact that they got one good color from each part of the color family or rainbow, whatever you want to call it. Seems like there's a good pink, there's a good yellow, there's a good blue. So the, with that and the fact that you can do second and third generation stamping, you can really get a complete line with these 12 inks if it's something that you're looking for. Now you can see that you get pretty good results as soon as you stamp it. That was the pink color first. This is Coral Bay. I think this color is just beautiful. It's a nice kind of dullish peach color. I just love it. Now what you see is pretty much the color you're going to end up with. It will lighten just a tiny, tiny bit, but not much. By the way, their Well Red is a pretty good red. I think red ink is hard to find, and I thought this was a pretty good one. Now their yellow ink is one of my favorite sunny day. It's a nice, vibrant yellow, which I think works on pretty much any card. Now my other favorite, favorite color is Emerald City. I think this is a great greenish emerald color that is just gorgeous, and I'll be reaching for this one a lot. Now you'll notice here that there are some splotches, as I mentioned before, but this will even out very, very slightly like the one on the left. That's the one from before. You can see it did even out very slightly. Now this evening isn't nearly as much as you get with the Hero Art Shadow inks or the Simon Says Stamp inks. That's a unique ink, but the results here are very good, crisp, and vibrant in my opinion. Now I wanted to point out some of my favorite colors here. Uh, the Blush Crush is kind of a peachy pink, which is unique. I didn't have a color like that. I really like the Coral Bay. It's kind of a dollar peach. I love that, and I didn't have anything like that. The Well Red is a nice, good red color, as is the Sunny Day. It's a nice, good yellow. That Emerald City is very unique. Didn't have anything close to that already in my color palette. The Yes Peas color is like the perfect green. It's not too Kelly. It's not too Lime. I didn't have an ink color like this, and I really think it's a great great perfect green. Something blue is a nice royal color. Deja blue is the perfect navy. Dark brown is the perfect brown. I had a few other inks that were that shade of brown, but it is a good one. And clean slate is like the best gray color you could ask for. Now before we move on to the other embellishments in the line and a card that I made with it, I wanted to mention the ink swatches. Again, I'll have a video coming soon with more downloads and more information on the system, but today on my blog, if you just click in the corner here, I um, have a free download for the Studio Calico Color Theory inks, so you can do little 2 inch by 2 inch swatches like I did here if you're interested. And I wanted to show you quickly how to use this print off. So this is what you can download and it prints perfectly, you don't need to resize it kind of has some instructions there on the top, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do it here. Basically, if you cut along these lines, it'll end up with the perfect two inch by two inch squares to fit into the coin pockets, which I'll have linked below also. Now what you need to do is you cut to connect that line to the line up there and stop at the X. This seems a little weird at first, but as you go, you'll see how this works. So I'm gonna cut and stop up at that X. What I'm doing is basically keeping all these connected so that I can easily cut them vertically when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut from the X to the other line, easily connecting. This is easy to do with any kind of trimmer that you may have. If you don't have a trimmer, you could use like a straight edge and a craft knife to easily do this. So after I've gone through and cut all the horizontal lines, you'll see that all of the strips are connected on the left-hand side, which makes this next step really, really easy. So now I'm going to turn it in my trimmer, and I'm going to connect the vertical lines. Now if you wanted to, you could punch or just cut your own two inch squares and then write the ink name on the bottom. I'm just kind of anal and I like to have everything done in text or with labels, so that's why I have this. And I thought I'd go ahead and give the download in case anybody else was interested in it. So after we cut this last line, we have all of our two inch by two inch squares with the little labels on the bottom. 
Very quick and easy to do. And again, I'll be back with a video on this soon. Now next I wanted to talk about the embellishments in the color theory line. I'm just going to point out some of the things that I thought were the best or the things that I found I would use the most. I really like these sequins. Sequins are really popular right now. What I like about these is in a pack there are small circle sequins, medium circle sequins, and some fantastic flat star sequins. My favorites are the silver, which are just beautiful, and the brown, which actually have a wood grain look to it, which I just think is so cool and unique. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all of mine into this great little storage unit. The little pack of four pops out. You just push the button on the left and you can open it and store your sequins in there. So I'm going to go ahead and load mine up. Now what's great about these little containers is I'm going to put all three of the different sizes into one. You can see how quick and easy it is to do. I don't mind that I'm mixing the different shapes. That doesn't, seem, it doesn't bother me. But you could keep these in Ziploc bags, baby food jars. There's many things you can do. But if you're looking for some sequin options, this is a great one because it has the nice color palettes and the three different options together in one package. Once I have them all in there, I just shake it up so that they're all different ones towards the top so I can reach in easily and grab whatever I'd like. And as with the inks, there are 12 different colors here, so I have them all in a container with some of my other Studio Calico sequins. There are also buttons in the color theory line. I really like that there's a nice mix of colors here, different shapes, different finishes. Great mix. So if you're looking for buttons, these are a great option. Now my other favorite product besides the sequins is these great enamel dots. I love enamel dots and what's great about these guys, I was so excited to see this, is they are thin. So if you put them on a card, you won't end up with this super bulky um, card that ends up ripping up your envelope. They're nice and thin and there are four sizes in the pack of each of the colors. So for a card maker, this is a dream come true because they're nice and flat. So definitely worth checking out. If you like little letter stickers, there are a bunch of letter stickers in this line. You can buy all these products separately. I just wanted to give you a peek at them because people were asking about them. And look how tiny and dainty these little letter stickers are. If you're a card maker, this is a good, um, good product for you also. And by the way, Studio Calico didn't ask me to do this review. This is just what I'm finding out on my own. And when I told them I liked it, they thankfully have a giveaway and discount code on my blog. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Now I wanted to do an example just real quickly using these inks and embellishments. And I'm going to give some tips along the way. I'll be using a stamp set from one of the recent Studio Calico card kits. I really like the greeting in this where it says, hi, hello, how are you? And I actually am going to cut up the stamp. Don't worry, it won't scream and you, it will recover. But I just wanted to use the messages separately and I can always mount them together how they were originally intended. So I have a white piece of cardstock here that I've cut down to the size of a note card with a fold at the top. And I'm just going to tape it temporarily onto my work surface. This will make what I'm doing much easier. Now I'm using the navy deja blue color for the high hello and you'll see that I get a nice crisp result when I stamp this. I'm also using the Coral Bay, the Emerald City, and the Mint color to kind of go with this navy. I thought it'd be fun. But I wanted to stamp the How Are You repeatedly going up and down the card, but I wanted to make sure it was straight. This is my trick for doing straight messages. I take my T ruler and I line it up on the edge of the card. And then when I'm stamping, I can just line up my stamp right along that straight edge. And this works every time. It's so much easier than using a stamp positioner or using grids on something behind your paper or using, drawing pencil lines. I just really like the T ruler. It's an inexpensive tool and it works great every time. So I just went ahead and stamped that repeatedly with the different colors kind of randomly going up and up above and below that greeting. Now I've got my tweezers here so that I could pick out a few different of uh, the sequins that match the ink that I use. It's great because it makes it easy, it matches perfectly. Now I have my quick sticks to kind of plan out where I'm going to end up putting these. I'm just putting them down temporarily and now I'm using my Studio Multi Matte Medium. This is the only adhesive that I found really holds sequins super well. So I just use my quick sticks to pick up the sequin. I just dip it in a tiny bit of that multi-matte medium, and then I add it back onto my card where I had planned for it to be. You only need a super tiny bit of this adhesive, but this is the one that I find really holds best with sequins. I, I can't, I haven't had any luck with any other kind of adhesive. Makes it quick and easy to do that the embellishments match your inks. So I decided I wanted some navy enamel dots. I have a feeling that I'm going to be hoarding these enamel dots. I'm just going to scatter three of them on here. I like to do things in odd numbers, and I just felt like it made that greeting pop out even more. 
So there we have a quick and easy card using these new products. Now I hope this review of the color theory line was helpful to you. I'm sorry if it jumped around and there was a lot of information, but I wanted to show you how I experienced these products. I do have a giveaway of all the color theory inks on my blog and also a free shipping discount code for the inks. So be sure to head over there. You can click up there in the corner. I have all the products linked below in my YouTube description and also over on my blog with lots more links over there too. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up so we can create some more for you. And thanks so much for stopping by.